I have encountered all kinds of fraud. You have active fraud, which is that where somebody actually makes a misrepresentation to you about something. They tell you something that they know is not true, knowing you're going to rely on it and act differently as a result of that representation, which is a fraud. And there's also the fraud by omission, a concealment, where it's not active in that you lied about something. You simply failed to disclose a known material fact that had you known it, you would have acted differently. You would not have entered into the business relationship. You would not have done what you did if someone had told you that the business that you were going to be putting in a particular location had the same business with the same brand operating five years before, and it failed. That is a disclosure, a failure to disclose a material fact that had you known, you would have thought twice or three times or chosen to not do that business there at all. And that's, uh, that's very common in the, in the franchise world, these kinds of situations where the franchisees are not told the truth and the whole truth. We're trying to see how we can make that more of a less common event, but it's rather common because franchisors at different levels of maturity of their systems are desperate to sell franchises to prospective franchisees, so they exaggerate things and make statements that are not true. <music>